Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War. So, we got a new name on our roster, this time it's Cruiser Complex. We are ready to start the mission, let's go then. This is just a small UFO crash site, so it should be quick, but we'll see. We got two snipers in this squad, so it's a bit of an unusual setup. If we can secure the crash site, but this should be a pretty good map for that. Casualties. It was supposed to be blight vegetation. So hopefully there will be a lot of open space for our snipers. And yeah, it's one of these very open maps. And we got a meld container on the right side. We got two meld containers on the right side. Awesome. Well, that's where we're going. And we'll use the motion tracker. No aliens. This is just perfect. And still no aliens. That's actually amazing. We can dash towards it. Well, there are no aliens in range. So it should be safe enough to dash towards it. Let's do it then. Everyone can dash, I suppose. Yep, everyone can dash. Maybe except the snipers. Would be nice to get a steady weapon up. Just in case. Like so. And... You'll go this way as well. Alright, and that's that. I moved the first sniper already. We can grab the meld right now. On our second turn. That's an amazing start. Two meld containers. Very easy meld containers too. There, we got the first one. Let's use the motion tracker again. To see if there are any aliens nearby. Nope. This is too good to be true. Almost too good to be true. Well, we'll get the other melt container on our next turn. I'm rolling. Can't complain about that. Alright, let's now. set up with steady weapon. We will obviously get some aliens sooner or later. Good to go. Probably sooner rather than later. And overwatch. So where exactly is the UFO? It should be somewhere on the left side. Okay, the first group is on our left. Good to know. Or the closest group at least. Let's reposition a bit. Just to be in cover. From this direction. And steady weapon. Let's grab the meld. And we'll move back. Got the meld. That's 20 meld already. That's amazing. Alright, let's go this way and find the aliens. Steady weapon. Yep. And to that location. we're going this way. That's affirmative. If we get lucky, we might get a kill with reaction shots. Assuming it's a patrol. Which it might not be. One more melt container this way. Looks like it's inside the UFO. Or maybe on the other side of it. And yeah, there's the UFO. As I said, on our left. You should stay somewhere around here, actually. Let's move left a bit. To have better line of sight. And steady weapon. One of the snipers has the Illuminator gun sight. So she will have a very high chance to hit on pretty much everything. Okay, let's not dash into the fog. We got one more use of the motion tracker. Still nothing. Okay, then that means we can move safely. Yeah, still nothing. Up here. Nice high ground. We can take advantage of that. Affirmative. Should probably move the snipers into the high ground as well. But they will need like two turns to do that. Okay, first group is on our right. Interesting. Good to go. No more motion tracker. Where is that group then? Let's just set up up here. Sounds like a plan. Maybe they will run into us. Moving out. And we'll move the snipers to the right. Okay. At least one of them. The other one can stay on the left, actually. 
so around here, maybe behind full cover. And overwatch for everyone else. Come on, can we stop playing hide and seek already? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll be getting the third melt container, but that's fine. We already got two of them. Let's not get too greedy. So where the heck are the aliens? Affirmativo. Still nothing. Who's going to scout ahead? You volunteered, grads. Oh, there they are. We didn't trigger them yet. That's a chance for our snipers. For one of them at least. 92%, that should be a kill. Come on. Nice, that's a kill. First one in this mission. That's just a group of two sectoids. Okay then. We won't be killing the other one on this turn, that's for sure. We should probably back up. Yeah, just back up into full cover, play it safe, it's fine. There's no huge rush. Anchor down. And we can move over to the right side a bit. Overwatch for Groza. Drop into full cover. And that's that. The sectoid should move towards us. And we got high ground. Meaning that should be pretty easy. 22%. And he actually hit us. It happens, it's fine. He's still at 5 health. 80%, let's just take a shot with the sniper, why not? And that's not enough for a kill. 42% from up here, no. Never mind. Yes, I noticed. Thanks for the update. Nope. Anyone else? 39%. Come on, can someone hit? One more. Aim better, thanks. Nope. Really? We missed four shots in a row. Well, Cruza can take one more. That's a kill, finally. That took five shots to get one hit. Alright, I think... There's going to be one more group and the outsider. Although... There might be two more groups. There might be like three groups of two and then the outsider. In any case, there's going to be at least one more group for sure. Which means we're not fighting the outsider just yet. Let's go. I could heal Croza a bit. It's not a terrible idea, but my medkits are on snipers. That's not amazingly useful. In our current situation. No heal for you. Let's move. Not too close to the UFO. But we have to go in this general direction, obviously. This is also a good moment to get some reloads. Like so. And Overwatch. So I would prefer to avoid triggering the Outsider. Oh. What's happening? Did we trigger a group or what? And there's a melt container on top of the UFO. Which means it's impossible to get. At least without flying or grappling hooks. Which is not something we have this early into the game. So what's going on? Is there a group over there or what? I'm not quite sure why the camera moved. Well then, I suppose we'll wait one more turn. Up here. Move a bit to the left. And the steady weapon. Move the other sniper too. Just to make sure we'll have line of sight. Alright, Overwatch. Are we there yet? I can definitely hear sectoids. Who's going to scout ahead? Someone with good mobility. They all have decent mobility. Can we actually move into cover? Yes, we can. There's the group. No, that's the outsider. Damn it. I was trying to avoid that. But now we have to kill him. Let's make it happen then. Our snipers can't even see him. 
which is unfortunate. We'll have to play defensively on this turn, so back up and move into full cover. Like this. And like this. Can we reposition our snipers to be able to see that guy? Possibly. We can go up here. I don't think she will be able to do it. That seems rather unlikely. That's affirmative. Yeah, I don't think so. Unless he moves towards us, which is not impossible. As for Kroza, yeah, hunker down. For obvious reasons, I think. I do have a smoke grenade, but it won't be very useful here. At least not right now. So what is he going to do? I need him to move towards us. Okay, he kind of did and didn't at the same time. 27% too low. We need steady weapon up. I don't think we can do anything here. No. We can't. And he's on Overwatch too. Not much point taking this shot. Well, actually, maybe there is. 65%. Let's take a shot. Please hit. Nice. He will regenerate, so we'll try to do more damage. The unfortunate part is that we don't have a scout. Or a gunner with suppression. Obviously a gunner always has suppression. But we don't have suppression and we don't have lightning reflexes. Or anything fancy like that. So... Well, we can take a shot. And miss. Which is pretty much what I expected. 24%. I could flank him, but then I will trigger the reaction shot. And I might trigger a group. So it's best to hunker down. I can overwatch. And steady weapon. One more person. What can we do? Not much. Move into different full cover, that's about it. And here comes the next group. That was to be expected. Sectoids. What is the outsider going to do? He's firing at Kroza. Nice try. Okay, he's at 8 health. But he's not on Overwatch. We could try to throw a grenade. Or a flashbang grenade at least. Can we throw it far enough? No, we can't. Damn it. Actually, can we? No. I could throw an AP grenade, but it won't do a whole lot of damage. It is guaranteed damage, however, so it might be worth doing. We need this to hit. 47%. We need this shot to hit. Which it did. Nice. Okay. Oh yeah, one more shot. At Sectoids. No. At the Outsider too. And that's a kill. Awesome. Done. Well, not done, but we killed the Outsider. That's the hardest part. So let's not mess up. Overwatch. We can move around a little bit more now. Just jump down into full cover. Overwatch. And 24%, 39%. I don't think it's worth taking these shots. We'll just play it safe, hunker down. It's just three sectoids. This should be the last group. Nice kill. This mission is going really well. Oh, one more group, apparently. Okay, then. That's definitely the last group now. So, snipers first. Can they do anything useful? Just one target, so we'll go for that one. And we missed. I'm not even mad. They did a good job killing the outsider. That's quite a lot of overwatch. Let's see, 27%. 42%. Let's take that shot. And we only did two damage. I would have to move to use a grenade. Which isn't a very good idea right now. I don't think so. 42%. And that's a kill. Was that a sectoid on Overwatch? I think so. 
No, it wasn't, was it? I still can't mob. We'll just play it safe, it's totally fine. Maybe they will move towards us and we'll get more reaction shots. They might try to flank us, but they can't do it on this turn. Come on, don't be shy. Yeah, 1% shot, good luck with that. It's technically possible for that to hit, obviously. Oh, so I panic. Okay then. I guess that's to be expected. So, snipers first. We need to actually... No, we can see them. 45%, 55%, 60%, and that's a kill. Nice. And he was mind merging too. Okay. 27%. That's a little bit low. But let's go for it anyway. Sure. Well, let's go for it. Maybe we'll get lucky. I don't think we will. No, we will not. Missed the target. Negative ammo. I'm spent. I'm considering triggering that reaction shot. I could throw a grenade. Either an AP grenade or a flashbang grenade. Flashbang grenade might be a little bit better here. Possibly. Well, it's an option. The only problem is that I would have to move into partial cover. Which is why I'm considering a flashbang grenade. The AP grenade will not kill all of them. No. I could kill these two. If we don't get hit with the reaction shot, it might be worth throwing an AP grenade to kill these two sectors in the front. I can always throw a smoke grenade. Alright, let's do it. Don't get hit, thanks. 46%, pretty high. And he hit. Okay. Well, the AP grenade is still an option. I could throw a smoke grenade. That's plus 20 defense. It's not brilliant, but... We can do it. I think I'll do it. This should kill them both easily. Yeah, I can't imagine this won't do two damage. It absolutely should. So like this. And they are both down. And now we can throw a smoke grenade. Because I don't think we can kill that one remaining sectoid. No, there's no way we can. So a smoke grenade for you. If he only had partial cover, then maybe I would have tried. But he doesn't. That's the last move on this turn. He will probably try to shoot that rookie still. 30%. That's pretty low. And he missed. God. It was a little bit risky, but it worked. So whatever. And now we can kill it. We can shoot it in the face. Which isn't actually guaranteed to do 4 damage. So the best way to do this is open with a grenade. That will either kill him or it will do enough damage that I will be able to kill him with a shot to the face. That's not a kill, but now we can shoot him in the face. And that will be a kill. Alright, let's finish this. That was an interesting mission. RIP. All mission objectives We're done. Nine aliens killed. And we got at least 20 meld. Should be 21, I think. And everyone got a promotion. Awesome. We got 21 meld exactly. Very nice. Let's sell the damage DFO parts. And we'll check our promotions. So first, let's check... Well, it doesn't really matter. I think I'll leave the wounded soldiers not promoted. We can always pick our class later. Let's check Cruza first. So that's going to be... 31 will. 
This is actually a tough choice because I like all three of these options for completely different reasons. They are all useful in different situations. But ultimately I think I'll go for covering fire and to make him overwatch build. So covering fire, opportunist and so on. I don't like the plus 5 well from Steadfast, but that's mostly useful on very high well soldiers, just to maximize their will, or, or on super low will soldiers, to not make them panic all the time. But 31 is not super low, it's also not super high, it's average. If it was either extremely low or extremely high, then I would have considered Steadfast. So covering fire. Next. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, blow profile, dead eye, lone wolf. We'll go for dead eye. I'll probably go for dead eye on like every single sniper, except snapshot snipers. If I decide to get snapshot snipers, we could get one snapshot sniper. 14 mobility is pretty good for a snapshot sniper. It might be worth doing. Yeah, it might be worth doing. The problem is that she only has 3 health, so I would prefer to keep her in the back. Not that you can't keep snapshot snipers in the back, but they are more likely to be closer to the aliens. And I prefer low profile for that. I prefer low profile for snapshot snipers in general. Let's just go for that eye. Okay. Next, 21 aim, 4 health, 12 mobility. What class is she going to be? She could be a gunner. We need more than just two gunners. Gunner is a super important class, and I like to have a lot of gunners on my roster. I might turn them both into gunners. What else do we need? We only have one rocketeer. Oh yeah, we need medics. Yeah, we definitely need medics. One of them needs to be a medic. So you will be a medic. And... You will be a gunner. Yep, sounds good. And done. Kind of. I left two unpromoted soldiers. We can pick their class later. Let's keep scanning. Actually, hold on. Before we keep scanning. Anything we want to do here? Not really. Anything we want to make? To support the research team, Commander. I I've guess not. The new recruits to work in the lab. All right, let's keep scanning then. Actually, hold on. I could start a satellite uplink, but it won't be done this month anyway. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. How's that satellite? Three more days. Right. I'll be launching it in the US for the money. We'll need credits. There's the satellite, so let's just launch it right away. In the United States. Wait, no, we can't launch it until the satellite uplink, right. We'll do it next month. There's the access lift. And we'll build towards the steam. We'll need thermal generators. The sooner we build one, the better, really. All right. So carry on, keep scanning. Any more missions this month? Possibly. One more scientist, nice. I'll take him. No more missions this month? Doesn't look like it. I'm okay with this. Excavation is done. We'll excavate one more. And I can build another generator under that one. Because I don't think we'll be getting the thermal generator just yet. I'll keep scanning, the laboratory is almost done, and we got yet another small scout. Let's go shoot it down then. Another crash site, hopefully. We'll need more materials and more money. Crash sites are always nice for materials and for experience. Come on. 
hit it one more time. Really? You missed? Well, we missed twice in a row. With friendly skies. I guess that was going to happen sooner or later. It's going to get away. That sucks. That really sucks. Well, that's the air war for you, even with friendly skies and on aggressive. We still failed to shoot it down. That's disappointing. I hate losing these materials in the early game because it's so damn important. There's the access lift. So, well, actually, I could get the thermal generator. Let's just go directly for a thermal generator. It will be better in the long run. Alien materials research is done, so that unlocks alloy plating. I'll probably want one or two. It also un unlocks the Phoenix cannon, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that right now. We need money for other things. We need the scout analysis, so we'll do that real quick. Only a few days. And we got abductions. Light alien activity. Can we wait for anyone? No need to. Okay then, so light activity, which means we can bring some more rookies. But we'll bring some proper soldiers as well. I want a scout. I almost definitely want a sniper. Yep. Who else? Probably an assault. If only to get experience. A gunner. Well, I wanted rookies. If I bring one more Lance Corporal, that's going to be just two rookies. Or I could kick out, kick out the assault. We'll bring the gunner. And let's bring some more rookies. We got some decent rookies still. Wait, that's... Wait, oh yeah, he was in a mission previously. That's why he had experience. Okay, that's fine, he needs a promotion. He has pretty good stats. Who else? These are decent stats. Not amazing, but it's fine. I don't like 11 mobility, but... 5 health is always nice. Okay, one more person. Only 11 mobility, but pretty good stats otherwise. 5 health and 65 base aim. I might bring her. Or this guy. Only 3 health, but 67 aim. Or 70 aim. Tough choice. Let's go for 5 health. 37 well. That's really nice, actually. This guy is the highest well rookie. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. 42 well, wow. That's insane, but his other stats are so bad. Still, 42 well on a rookie, that's actually insane. He's going to be a really good psionic. Let's bring him. Or her, actually. Yeah, she's going to be a pretty good psionic. I'll probably turn her into a medic. Or infantry with steadfast, something like that. Anyway. Equipment. First sniper. With illuminator gun sight. There you go. The rest looks fine. Pretty good aim. Next. Marksman's Rifle, Tactical Armor, Battle Scanner, yep. Let's give him a smoke grenade. He's unlikely to be close enough to aliens to throw an AP grenade. Smoke grenade will be better. Next. Assault Rifle, AP grenade, and some medkits, since we don't have a medic in this squad. Medkit and Assault Rifle. His aim is not amazing, but I still prefer Assault Rifle. We might see some floaters in this mission. That's definitely a possibility. Tactical Armor. Alright, also I should probably start some alloy platings. Let's do it. 
Just two for now. I don't want to spend too much money. I think we're ready. So, we are going to do the mission in the next part. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you next time.